For the following exercises, perform the indicated operation and express the result as a simplified complex number. Okie dokie. So for the first one, we have 3 plus 2i plus 5 minus 3i. Now, this might look a little bit confusing because they have parentheses here, right? But it's just these two things inside of the parentheses being added to one another. So technically, do we really need the parentheses? No, right? It's not being multiplied by each other. So I can just drop the parentheses altogether. I can just say that it's 3 plus 2i plus 5 minus 3i. Now all I have to do is just group the like terms. If we're just adding and subtracting all, you know, all numbers here, we just have to group like terms. So let's see, I just see a 3 and I just see a 5. The same thing is I see a 2 that's being multiplied by an i, but then I have this 3i, right? Now, pay close attention. The 3i is actually a negative. Always look at those signs to see if it's a negative or a positive. So now we just got to add them together. I have a 3, and I'm going to plus a 5. And I say plus 5 because the sign in the front was a plus. So I'm just dragging it. So 3 plus 5 is a 8, 5, 6, 7, 8. And now we just got to do the same thing for the i's. Let's see. I have a 2i, and then I have a what? A negative or a minus 3i. So what is that value? The i stays because that's the common thing between them. And then 2 minus 3 is a negative 1. We don't really need the 1 in there. We could just say that this is just a negative i or minus 1i. Now, a simplified complex number basically states that we need all of our real numbers in the front and then our imaginary numbers in the back. And the imaginary numbers are the ones that are hooked up with that i value. So all the numbers that are just numbers are real. All the other ones that are hooked up with an i are imaginary. So now if I just need to put these two together, it would just be 8 minus i. And that's the final answer. Not bad, guys, right? Let's do the same thing for the second one. We have a minus 2, or a negative 2, minus 4i plus 1 plus 6i. This whole thing is being added to this whole thing. Do we really need those parentheses? No, we're not really multiplying. So I could just say that negative 2 minus 4i plus 1 plus 6i. And now we just group those like terms. I just have a negative 2 here. And then what other just number do I see? I see a, a 1, right? Then I'm going to group the i's. Now here's a 4i, but it's a negative 4i because there was a minus in the front. And then I have a positive 6i as well. So those get grouped together. So let's group the numbers first. Negative 2 plus 1 is a negative 1. Now let's group the other ones. Negative 4i plus 6i. The i's stay the same. It would be the same thing as saying negative 4x plus 6x, right? The x's you don't do anything with. So this would be just a negative 4 plus a 6, and then you just keep the i's. So it would be a 2i. Now you just bring them together. So it would be a negative 1. This is a positive number, right? So plus 2i, and that's it. 
Last one. Negative 5 plus 3i minus 6 minus i. It's a negative, right? We're not multiplying. So do we really need these um, parentheses? No. But for this, negatives or minus, there's a little trick. The first part is going to be exactly the same. So negative 5 plus 3i. However, what secret number is here? You guessed it. It's a secret 1. We have to distribute before we get rid of the parentheses. And just like I say time and time again, we have to be fair. You have to multiply this negative 1 by the 6, and then you have to multiply that negative 1 by the negative i. So negative 1 times a 6 is now a negative 6. So I will now minus a 6. Negative 1 times a negative i is now a plus i. So now if I just erase this, the key here is that whenever you see a minus and then parentheses, the signs in here just get flopped. So you see how this was a positive 6 in there, and now it becomes a negative, and this was a negative i, and now it's a positive i. That's the whole idea here. Once we now distribute and do that math, we can take it out of the parentheses, and now we're ready to group together like terms. I see that I have a negative 5, just as a number, and then a negative 6, because it's a minus 6. So I have a negative 5 minus 6. Negative 5 minus 6 is a negative 11. And then what other things do we have? We have a positive 3i and a positive i, right? So when we group those together, 3i plus i, the i stay. How many do we have, though? We have 3i plus 1i, right, because there's a secret 1 here. So this would be a 4i. Let me just put it over here. And now we just group them together. And remember, real comes first and then the imaginary. So we have a negative 11 this was a positive 4, so plus 4i. And that's the end. Look at you guys getting these done. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Um, and if you like this video, give it a, a like or a thumbs up or whatever, whatever the YouTube says. Um, you know, smash the subscribe button for that algorithm. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Have an awesome day. Keep studying hard. You guys got this. And math is fun. See you guys later. Bye-bye.